This is just a quick note for those of you watching on YouTube. So first, hello, welcome. So normally I record these over on Facebook Live first and then they get uploaded over here. So the way that I'm recording this, I can do a little note for you before I start the live. So hello, be sure to check the description below so that you can find the links to go and watch them live over on Facebook. Um, I'd love to see you there too. Hello and welcome to Wednesday Live with Evie, where each week I share a topic on around productivity. Hel welcome, say hello in the comments. Let me know you're here. I'm just looking over here so I can update my screen so I can see your comments and see who's joining us today. So today is number Wednesday Live with Evie number 66, and the topic is it's not set in stone. So we're going to dive into exactly what that means here in a minute. And if you're watching, whether live or on the recording, say hello in the comments. Let me know you're here. And if you don't know me, my name is Evie Burke, and I work with entrepreneurs just like you, and I help them take their productivity to a new level. So at the end of the day, they don't have to worry about what didn't get done today or what needs to get done tomorrow, but instead they can just really be completely and fully present with the people that they choose to spend their off hours with. So I'm going to switch things up just a little bit today, and I want to start with an announcement. So normally I do these at the end. Later today at 2 p.m., so in an hour if you're watching this live, is the start of the first class of Take Your Productivity to a New Level. And if you are somebody who fits that description of what I, I just talked about, where you're feeling like you're running around a lot, um, that you don't know what really needs to get done, it just seems like everything needs to get done, then the Take Your Productivity to a New Level uh, program is something that you will want to check out and something I invite you to join because really it walks through the how-to, the step-by-step -step of how to be more productive in your business, how to really know what your priorities are and what needs to be done in your business. And we talk about goal setting, which is a little bit of what we're going to talk about here in today's Wednesday Live with Evie. So again, I invite you to join us. Um, I will leave registration open through Friday, so that's May 11th. Um, so if you want to join us, even after the first session, you, you can, um, but I will close it up after that. So let's move on to today's topic. So like I said, today's topic is it's not set in stone. And I wanna talk about goals. So when was the last time you completely, you fully met one of the goals that you set? And I mean like fully meant it. Like you set the goal and you, you hit it. Everything that you intended to happen with it happened and you met that goal. And I asked that question, you don't have to answer it if you don't want to. Um, if you want, if you've met one, you know, recently, you know, celebrate in the comments. I'd love to hear it. But a lot of times our goals or the intentions that we have for our business tend to be things that we think we should be doing, right? Maybe somebody told you once that you need to dream big and, and put your goals just out of your reach so that you're, you're always doing as much as you can. And sometimes that's good advice. But for many of us, including me, that advice can set us up for failure over and over and over again. Because you never really get to fully experience achieving a goal because you've always placed it just out of reach. So even though, you know, you might have done really well with it, you didn't meet the goal. So you feel like you don't really get to celebrate maybe the way that you wanted to because you set the goal to be here and it didn't quite end up there. So. Another thing that can happen is maybe you have goals or intentions that you set in January that you were just so excited about, like they lit you up. 
But now, you know, we're completely through first quarter. We're about halfway through the second quarter. And those goals that you set in January, maybe you're just not as excited about them. Maybe you have some new ideas, some new things that you want to try out, but you don't have time for them if you keep your eye on the things that you set in January as your goals for the year. And I want to tell you a secret that you might have an inkling toward, given how it's the the title of today's Wednesday Live with Evie. And that is that your goals and your intentions, despite what you might have heard, aren't set in stone. So it's more like they're written on a chalkboard, right? And you can erase them or modify them whenever you want because they're not set in stone. So if you have an intention or a goal that you set for your business, whether it was for the entire year or even just this quarter or this just or just this month, if it's not serving you, then change it. If you're dreaming of something else, if your intuition is nudging you down a different path, Change the goal. You have permission. You're allowed. It's your goal, right? And if your big, huge goal leaves you tired and frustrated, try a smaller one on for size. It's okay. Really, it is. So I do want to be clear, though. I, I'm not saying that you shouldn't try new things or push yourself to um, dream bigger uh, or even that. If you've hit a road bump, I'm not saying you should say, oh, well, that's not meant to be and shift your focus. Be really intentional about changing your goals and your intentions um, and just recognize that dreaming big doesn't work for everybody. And I also want to share, there was an article in Psychologic Psychology, there we go, Psychology Today from April of 2017. And it said that people who disengage from seemingly impossible goals are mentally healthier than those who stay entrapped. And basically what that means are if you disengage yourself from those big, huge goals that seem impossible, then you're healthier than people who decide that they're going to go, you know, all in toward those. Another thing this article said is decisions made on the basis of false predicted happiness are likely to turn out to fail to maximize eventual experienced happiness. Now, that's a lot of words to say what I think they're saying is if you set a big goal expecting it to make you happier, then you might be really disappointed and let down later if you don't achieve that huge goal the way that you anticipated. And one of the other things it said is um, smaller achievable achievable goals are easier to accomplish and they give us the satisfaction of seeing progress being made. So, and that's really, if you're going to give yourself some nice small goals to hit, then what that does is you get to actually experience completion. You hit the goal, you get to experience the fact that the goal has been achieved, that you met that goal, right? So just to wrap things up here, things aren't written in stone. Goals aren't written in stone. Rewrite as needed. That's all I have for you today. If you were watching this live or on the recording um, or on the replay, just say a comment below or in the side or wherever they pop up. Uh, Because I'd love to know that you were here and if you found, how you found this helpful, what you might do with this, this piece of advice. So I will see you next week. Much love.